So, after many months, my six banks has been weeded down to four. And after a month with no charge, all these received several charges on the uh, Tesla switch. And after a month of no charging any of them, and partial use on a couple actually, we're still sitting at 12.94. So I have pretty good hopes. These, I mean, I got these out of salvage many months ago, and they're still holding. And they're kicking good power. So this is basically my system. I I had to use the provided leads. Those are 10 gauge wires, two for each, three quarter inch copper. And then each battery is connected with 10 gauge wire. So it sort of goes 10 gauge and then you know two 10 gauges would be the equivalent of say four gauge maybe. And then I'm guessing that three quarter inch copper pipe is, you know, about as good as one or two gauge. So the ambition is to pull five, six hundred watts out of this and solely charge it for, you know, as long as it lives basically. And what one, one thing I might want to do, especially now since I sold my array, um, I still have half a dozen panels, but I sold my main array. So what I might want to do is use this to charge in the sun to then turn around and use this to restore a, a, a Trojan 6 or basically running the Tesla switch because this is 12 volts I can then turn around once this is charged up in the sun I can recondition a Trojan with this because in theory if it were brand new which of course it isn't but in theory you have 70 amp hours on each one of those so you're looking at 280 amp hours and uh, so it's it should charge a, a 6 when, when it's charged especially if the 6 isn't dumped right to nothing only thing I gotta change out is I built these I'm still not sure exactly what length I want to cut my copper pipe off, so I, these are protective sleeves basically. This backboard I'm going to have a, a, a larger board and there's going to be some inverters and stuff on here. And um, <coughs> for my inverters, um, I really shouldn't be pulling both positive and negative from this side of the pipe because what that'll do is if you're pulling hundreds of watts it'll stress this battery more than the rest so I should pull a negative from down there and a, a positive from here kind of thing be, to the inverter but other than that <coughs> these I might even just use for something else I've left them long so that I can shelf off and have different inverters with their own direct connection and the whole idea was to keep cable length to a, minim to a minimum yet still have it essentially portable because these things were a little tough to work with when I made them I wanted to take advantage of the cable that was in them so I ended up with some pretty small pigtails eh? and uh, but it worked out pretty good I got number six terminals on the end of each wire I got number six terminals and then I have a lag that goes right through and it's threaded and it grabs on the other side and so you know it should be should be good for 20 or 30 amps per connection you know? I don't know if I can get five or six hundred watts out of this thing I'll be pretty happy there it is anyways the junk SLA battery bank project thanks for watching